a nice looking house though. Yeah, it is. That must uh, sit on a very landscape lot there. So two million seven fifty announced down to two and a half million. Okay, we're close to the water. Do that map again. That's a Andrew Prasky. Yeah, I don't think it's a wise editor. there. It's outside of downtown. You could walk to Six Smith. All right, so we're in the corner. It must be a remont. See all those condos? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a great taco place in that strip mall there. I literally lived about a mile from there. Lisa and I like to go down there on Lake Street. There's a uh, great Mexican restaurant right across from those big condos they built there. Cove and Six Smith, and there's a lot of fun spots. Is that the Baja house? I think so, yeah. Good sushi down there as well. It's We're not very big. We got a three-bedroom, three-bath, 3,400 square feet. I mean, you're definitely paying for that location, as Andy just said. It's a great area. They've really opened it up now. Obviously, this was a, a fill-in project built in 2016, so you're kind of getting down there. I mean, this might take the place of one of those condos that Mr. Prasky was just talking about. You know, it gets you downtown. It gets you that whole rustic feel. Um, but yet, how much work is there to do? It gives you, let's see. It looks like it's fully grown everywhere around. So there's not a ton of maintenance, it doesn't look like. So that might be a combination of, as an association maintained uh, alternative. Look at the cable with the, those beams. That's a different kind of look. Not sure I've ever seen that before. Well, it's like they retroed an old uh, an old warehouse or something. I love when they incorporate stone like that in different uh -huh. feels, woods and metals, and but not too much of it, just enough to kind of make it feel good. And that's a smart builder too. I mean, to incorporate little pieces like that and make them feel like they're they're actually there the whole time. Not an easy thing in which to be able to do because look at those cabinet. Those are crazy cool. They have like that pickled wood inserts like that into a frame. A lot of detail there. That that's fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollar bookcase. Yeah, you can get crazy on some cabinetry. That's for sure. I even like the way the window trim was like all lined up with the doors and everything. That to me is nice. A lot of builders don't do that. They'll just you know the windows are off by an inch and they sit on that forces everything to be level and you mean incorporate the door within the window trim right yep it's a nice house i tell you i give them that i mean a two and a half down there i mean 30 i think it was only 3300 square feet so it's it's not huge but that that outdoor space was super nice and looks like this is part of it as well yeah with a full screen front you can open that baby up okay you get your lower level yeah this is where you'll see it a lot if you look out those windows i mean they're still trying to get light but they're they're landscaping it to try to get that so they can maintain that levelness off of that main floor. Because that's where you live. I mean, if you really think about it, not a lot of people go in the basement. I mean, the, the house I'm in right now, I mean, I rarely walk into that basement. It's, everything's on, on that main floor. It's nice, but it, it turns into an entertainment type space. Yeah, got all your bourbon yeah. and your wines. Yeah. And... and that's the other thing. You, you start the little oak mantle. Yeah, I mean, look at that thing. Just to stage that thing. I mean, look at all the liquor that goes in there, Andy. Holy moly. That house I was mentioning earlier, um, they used to have a liquor store locally here that would keep their, their wine cellar stock. Once a week, the liquor store goes into their house, looks at what they have. And then they'd restock all the shelves for them. So these people didn't have to go to the liquor store. But I mean, you drink, when you're drinking a $200 bottle of wine every night or a couple of night, you know, sure, they'll do that well, for you. I wonder if you had a, like a parade home that was really nice. If a liquor store would come in and stage it for you, publicity out of it. I got my hand slapped a little bit with that, with uh, doing the, the wine and cheese events. Uh, apparently the uh, firearm, tobacco, whatever, alcohol um, came in and said, you guys are distributing alcohol. We're like... Uh, we're pouring glasses of wine. Yes, I mean, we're not charging for it. There's no whatever. And they didn't like it. They wanted us to have like a permit. If you look at the Parade of Homes now, we call it our donuts and cider parties. And come early in the morning, get donuts and cider or coffee instead of the uh, wine and cheese. So thank you, big government. You're great. Interesting. That was sarcastic if you didn't notice. Painting little castle, that little fake door. They do use that a lot underneath the stairs. Well, you did uh, that yourself, did you? That's cute. Okay. This is where you really kind of is a game changer. You expand the outdoor living area. And obviously in Minnesota, you don't get it as long, but that's a neat little place. I just wonder how those bugs are with all those trees around. Well, you know, let's say Iowa, Iowa guy, Hawkeye, you go down to the marina and you keep your boat at the marina down the street and uh, you walk back from the marina and you have outdoor cocktails and hang out with your friends and yeah. it wouldn't be bad. I, I got to well, be honest, some... you know, I'm not... Um, just like last week when we were looking at that one for what was it, four or five million, where it was the apartment building looking one. By the way, ran into an agent that said that they knew the listing agent and the listing agent heard about our show talking about it and watched it and wasn't real pleased with us. I said I it looked like an apartment building. I got it. I was probably the sassy one. Well, you were the nice one. Well, but hey, no. what am I going to lie to you? 
I mean, come on, you need some curb appeal. Like this house does not need curb appeal. I, the only thing I question on this house, it, it's stunning. It's well decorated, obviously an interior, exterior, you know, you had landscape architects, you've had, you know, everybody well consulting in here. The only thing that I challenge is, you know, two and a half million dollars for 3000 finished square feet. That's a lot of money. You know, it wouldn't shock me if, if you told me that house was 1.1 million, I'd also go, oh, you know what I mean? So it's like, for me, I don't know. Why is that is kind of commanding a lot for just the, the lots. So you is the lot worth premium. a half a million? Is it worth a million? You know, and then you put it all together. But it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. See, this is the right thing to do here too. So we, this is the lifestyle that you're going to get in downtown Wyzetta. And yep. I mean, it's just a hop, skip and a jump from it. You're and so the other part is, say you buy one of those condos, your association fee is $800 to $1,100 a month. I mean, you can certainly have your yard taken care of with that. So I think that's a good, you're not, I mean, I've showed those uh, condos over there for nice. two and a half million. That's a nice option to be able to kind of go against that. So, but I think it is Andy too. I think it's, um, you're paying for where you are and in that location. And there's a lot of people that have a lot of money that's down there and some just want something to, Hey, when we're going to go down there and we're going to hang out over the weekend, just like they do with condos downtown, we need a place to be able to stay. It's easier just to walk and we'll just hang out there and have a good time with our friends and go to sleep and then pack up on the weekend and leave. So I really like that house actually a lot. It's just not that big, like you said, but I think that whole outside living kind of would make it feel so much bigger. Well, you know, your, your walking distance. So now if you say to me, Andy, Hey, Let's uh, I just want to be within a couple minutes of that location and we could drive by car or scooter or walk. You could save yourself about a million dollars. Yeah. Just go right across 394, go up on the north side, that kind of Minnetonka area up there 